Guys, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you all, thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And just today, this day, I reached 100 subscribers and it's amazing and I really cannot believe it that I reached 100 subscribers so fast. I mean, actually, it's 101 subscriber at this point. So thank you all for subscribing on my channel. And thank you all for, for liking, for like giving positivity and everything. And yeah, let's move on to this amazing new video. Let's go. Guys, I visited the city and the fortress of Kochem here in Germany. So, what is going on guys? What is going on? My adventurers, my explorers, I have to turn off. I have to turn off my radio because I don't want this video to get copyrighted just like every single video of mine uh, on my reaction channel but for today's video I have decided to check out the Kochem castle here in Germany uh, in the town of Kochem in here in Rhineland Pfalz near also a very nice touristic town called uh, Koblenz so Kohem Castle, it looks to be a very, very interesting place. So, um, and it's not that far away from me. Uh, it is a about hour of drive away from me. And I was like, okay, I will wait and see if the Sunday will be a nice day. And it turned out it is. So, from what I could see on the photos, um, Kohem Castle is looks to be a amazing amazing place like for me on the pictures it looks like a castle from fairy tale so i was like i will check this place uh, like uh, at sunday but i pray to god for the weather to be nice so <laughs> and god you know heard my prayers and give me nice and sunny day uh, i literally don't know what to expect there i will try to like take drone videos you know take a few drone videos take a few drone shots i will see you at the kohen castle goodbye hey pretty baby am i in your way because you walked out so fast yesterday no i don't think you're here to stay no i don't think you're here to stay Tell me what you want, tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay, no, no, no I just wanna be with you, I just wanna be with you, yeah I just wanna be with you, yeah, I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you Oh my god guys, I freaking made it. I had a little bit of trouble to, uh, before I found my parking place here, but I managed it. I parked my car in front of a like middle school, but it had a beautiful view of the castle. Uh, and by the way, I will film all my drone shots from here. I don't want to fire up my drone uh, when I enter the castle, because I don't know if it's forbidden or not. But one thing that I noticed, place is filled with a flags of Netherlands, but never mind, Netherlands is really close to here. And uh, let me show you a Kochem castle, because a view from this place is just amazing. Look at this, guys. I don't know if you can see it in fully, because everything is bright it's really bright and and like weirdly gray day but damn it stands there majestically man i just want to go there like literally 
literally man it is beautiful okay now i'll go and fire up my drone and uh, try to film with my drone in some stealth mode and try not to get captured by police because i don't know the regulations here i don't know the regulations i mean i read it but i check it out definitely but uh there is no li really really specified like can i film or not you know but what they do say that as long as my drone is not heavier than 2000 than 250 grams i think i'm okay so yeah with that said guys let's walk up to that castle let's go It is a one amazing place. It is a breathtaking place straight out of the fairy tale, man. Damn, damn. Okay, first thing first, this is the city of Ockham. If you didn't know, <laughs> let me show you this. City is amazing, man. It is just amazing. And I walked uh, around the city a little bit, but came to this small hill and it is right uh, below the fortress itself one magical magical place really like it pretty much excited to climb up there so yeah let's go so city is filled <laughs> like city literally have uh, written Netherlands all over it and it, it's filled with uh, people from Netherlands I can hear the Dutch language all over the place and if you ever heard that uh, it is basically equivalent to the most alien language that you can ever hear in your life so yeah okay without me further talking let's just go there and I guess I found the road I guess I will find the road so yeah let's go
So, from this point, I will do a voiceover video because I just could not talk to the camera and being in so much of a crowded place. So, I have to buy a ticket. Ticket was like dirt cheap, like 8 euros or something like that, you know. This lady that just scanned my ticket, she was our tour guide. And I was hoping <laughs> I could like roam freely through the castle, but that was not the case here. We had our private guide. So from the very start, I mean, you can see I was just blown away by, by the sheer beauty of this castle. And in my mind, I was constantly thinking like, how did they even like build this like castle is like uh, 500 or, or 600 years old or something like that it is mega old place and it was damn beautiful and preserved perfectly really so at this point uh, our tour guide gave us you know a few words of you know how should we behave you know we should watch the furniture and stuff like that so she entered the castle and we followed her and as you can see from this video there is various tapestry and various animal trophies on the wall because i don't know man people like back in the day <laughs> really loved those stuff you know and hunting animal animals you know it was a like sport just like today but yeah various arts on the wall and stuff like that so this room is the first one that we visited and it was a diner you came here to eat you know and chill so uh that was me you know and i'm holding my backpack in front of me because like our tour guide uh she said to us you know please keep your backpacks in front of you so you don't scratch furniture and stuff like that we came to this second room the smaller one and <clears throat> This room was like basically small, like a reading room. Like I, I, I kind of uh, understand her like that because she was talking in German. And from that room, we entered even smaller one. So the smaller one room is like chill room, you know, don't bother me room. <laughs> That's how I understand it. And from that one, we entered this weird room with a mermaid on the top and then uh, we basically came downstairs, you know, and this room was just amazing, you know. It was a trophy room. It was filled with animal trophies like horns, like pig head and, you know, you can see deer head and stuff like that. And it was also a room where you get wasted, you know, drunk as hell. So. Uh, she said something interesting uh, about the, the wine back in the day at this specific place. So she said like the water was so polluted that it was not even drinkable. So when you're thirsty, you just, you know, drink wine and stuff like that. So this room, also a beautiful one. It was also a kind of diner room, but diner room with, with a piano. So you came here uh, to talk and chill and of course drink and eat <laughs> and it have like uh, these how do i call it uh, the, the armors that people used to wear and to be honest armors were short you know i genuinely think i could fit into one so next room this room is also a beautiful one uh, i mean you just you you're left in awe when you see like details in every room like every room was uh, unique for itself but this one this one had a balcony you know uh, and you can you know go outside as i will do right now and chill and look at the moselle river or i think i pronounce it very well but yeah overall i really liked it the view was amazing and you can imagine how this view looked like when this castle was built you know it just uh it gives you a small glimpse you know of, of a, a time tra to travel back in the time so room is filled with more armor like swords and, and stuff like that you know um 
there is some pictures and, and, and things, but uh, in general, we didn't uh, visit that much a lot of inside of the castle, you know, like for these four or five rooms, you know, and then uh, she take uh, she took us out, you know, because majority of the castle was closed, you know, I uh, it was not for visiting. I don't know if it is like that every time, but then we came outside, obviously, you know, make a circle again around the, the this kind of main the ta main tower, you know, and yeah, uh, at this place, uh, this place is where our tour ended. So, uh, but I was just, I just could not stop looking like up, you know. I was mind blown by these towers, uh, literally, man. And to be able to build something like this back in the day, you know, it was darn amazing. So, we ended our trip. And yeah, I went outside and that was a small tour of a Cochin castle. So yeah, back into me talking. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope I presented a uh, in the best way that I can, you know. I was really hoping, uh, I was not expecting uh, to have a guide, you know, to have a tour, tourist guide when I came here, but uh, I was like, I read online that I have to pay, uh, like buy a ticket to enter the castle, but I was not expecting a guide, like tourist guide. And the lady was just amazing. Like uh, she thought, she talked uh, about a lot of stuff. So, and obviously I, I filmed it, I filmed a lot of material uh, and I don't know how, how much of it will end up in the video, but guys, I hope you liked it. I liked it too. I will definitely came here. It was a nice experience and I hope I will present it in the best way for you guys. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and I will see you in another video of mine. Ciao.